welcome back to the Guns and Outdoors channel. Certainly hope that everyone is doing well. Thank you for watching, as well as checking out today's video. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the Ghost Ink Drop-In Aftermarket Trigger Kits. Specifically, it's gonna be around the connectors and all the springs and what have you. If you didn't know, they have eight to 10 different models. The lineup that they offer is quite comprehensive. They offer all setups for Glock Gen 1 through 5. For the Gen 5, you just don't use the included six pound trigger springs, those little guys right there, okay? Everything else you can use. Reduced safety plunger spring. You can do your, your four pounder or your six pounder for your firing pin. And then you can have your different connectors. I have the Ghost Ultimate, and then I have the Ghost Edge. Both of these are 3.5 pound connectors. They're sold as standalone, as you see in this one, or in a kit configuration with that part number as you see there. Again, you can buy them individually. The only difference between the 3.5 pound Ghost, the original, and the Edge, is that this one is skeletonized with a channel. All right, a debris channel according to the website. I'm not saying that's a thing or even a concern for me to worry about. I'm just saying it's part of the Edge design. There you have it. Okay, when installed, they do alter the trigger pull in lots of ways that ultimately have a positive versus negative effect for us as shooters. Things like trigger pull, reset length, the wall break, the over travel, all these customized feels are what we're after. Whether you're in competition or you're in sports or even spanning into carry. All right. Mini aftermarket kits. I'm only gonna comment on the ones that I've personally tried on the channel. I don't like speaking to stuff that I don't really know about. That's not fair, it's kind of disingenuous. No one's sponsoring me uh, other than Premier Body Armor. You guys see my code, feel free to use it. They make good stuff and I really like those guys. For me on the connectors, I like all Johnny Glock's stuff. I've tried Zev early on and it's okay. Of course, Wolf Springs are used in a lot of different kits across manufacturers. Their stuff is good to go. Today, we're gonna to do a before and after of the Ghost Ink connectors and the competition spring. All right, I'm gonna put in that lighter competition spring. Hopefully, I don't wanna get any light primer strikes. If I do, I'll back it up to that one. As we prep to dive right in here on the installations and you guys kind of watch me in a super high speed mode do this, I think it's a fair statement to say that we learn as we go and we progress our knowledge and skills in the shooting community, that we'll 100% discover what we like, what we don't like, what works, what doesn't. Triggers, shoes, pulls, pull weights are no different. Two quotes come to mind for me, and I learned them from a guy named Jeff Gonzalez, Navy SEAL, trainer out of Texas when he came over to North Carolina and held a class. He's a solid instructor. He told me in his combat concealed carry class a couple of the things, and I think they're, they're quite apropos here. When it comes to gear, don't have buyer's remorse. Thought that was kind of cool. Think about that one. We all have the drawer full of stuff, holsters, whatnot. You're going to have more. It's okay. Try not to have that buyer's remorse. Keep trying different things until you get it the way that you like it. Another one that I really liked and appreciated from Jeff was to find the mission. From a marksmanship perspective, the problem I'm trying to solve is I don't shoot Glocks as accurate as I'd like to when compared to many other pistols. What you see here today is my fun gun. I don't carry this Glock 17 Gen 5. It's my range time fun gun. I do want a lighter, smoother than OEM pool. I don't want anything heavy and I certainly don't want anything gritty. There are a couple of trigger types that I'm going to mention. There's a smooth pull to the rear with a defined wall and a crisp break type. And then there's a rolling trigger that's smooth, some say spongy, with a touch of resistance all the way through the trigger squeeze into and past the break. I can do either one, but this guy is gonna give me one type of feel and the other guy is gonna give me the defined wall. See where I'm going with this? I expect the edge to do the above with a light wall, and I expect the ultimate to do the same with a rolling breaking feel. Both should be awesome. As a kit, 29 bucks. Connector, 19 bucks. Buy them anywhere you want. Uh, they're readily available, eBay, even manufacturers. 
they're, they're out there. All the common wholesales, resellers are selling them. All right. Average Glock pull test should come in between five and a half, six pounds. You guys know that. I expect these connectors, if I was just to put in the connector alone, I expect it to shave off one pound. So this is not an install video. Sorry, guys. I'm going to have to time lapse past it. You're going to see me kind of zip through it. But at the very end, we will do the pull test, see the final results. Are you ready? So I've defined my mission statement. All right, stand by. Let's take a baseline. Gun is unloaded. Confirmed. Nothing in the chamber. Glock 17 Gen 5. Wheeler linesman trigger gauge. First pull weight, a smidgen over 6, 6.1 pounds. If you get it too high, it won't go at all. If you get it too low, it's easier. So I'm just trying to get it in this consistent spot. Second pull, smidgen under 6. All right, well, let's split the difference. Go with 6 pounds. Factory. Factory Glock. Pull. Not bad. Let's see if we can get it better. Up first, we're going to go with smooth edge, but we're maintaining our wall. We're going to go with the Ghost Edge 3.5. Stand by for time lapse. Went in very smooth, the edge connector. All right. Ooh, great feel. Very smooth. Uh, not gritty to the wall. Very light wall. It's right around there with a, with a crisp break. Wow. Yeah, you got to be careful on that. You don't want to carry this, but boy, it feels great. Ooh, I love that. Dude, that's awesome. I'm impressed. Ghost connectors. Sounds great. Let's do a pull test. You guys ready? Remember, we were right around six, right? Wow, this thing came down pretty significant. Smidge over 4.5 pounds. Another one for good measure. And this thing's slick, so I'm having problems grip, gripping it. I know, isn't that a, that's a first world problem, isn't it? All right, let's try this again. Woo! A little under five. Let's try this again. We gotta go three on that. A little over four. All right. Let me stir it one more time. A little over four. So, chopped off a good 1 1.8, 1 1.9 pounds with the ed edge connector. Got a great feel to it. Nice. Thumbs up on it. Uh, can't go wrong. In fact, I don't even think I need to. <laughs> I'm questioning whether I should even put these uh, firing pin springs in and even in the reduced weight safety plunger. Okay, up next is the ultimate connector. Stand by for time lapse. All right, no problems on the installation of the Ultimate. Nothing, 
Let me get my thoughts together. I like this. Okay. <clears throat> when I pull the trigger and I apply constant pressure and bring it to the rear, you can see that it's a constant pull through the brake. That's what you get with a 1911-like rolling attempt on a Glock to do the same. I do have one little catch, like kind of right in here, but then it rolls through. I like this. Uh, right off the bat, it's great. If I, this is what I had, it's much better than factory. The edge, ooh, the edge. This guy, his, the way he's been refined. See, it's all about how they tweak these edges and stuff. How the connector, you know, interfaces with the trigger bar and the cruciform. All right, so anyway, let's do a pull test. I can swear right off the top, the edge felt smoother, even though it had a wall, light wall, and uh, its trigger pull was light. Let's see where this puppy comes in. We're at 4.7. Sounds about right. Let's give it a another whirl. Coming in at 4.7. Again. All right. So, hmm. I've already found my winner. <laughs> I really like this edge. I wanted to like the ultimate. But I was so impressed with the edge and the feel that I don't even think I'm going to install. I see no reason to install the complete spring kit. I need it at this time. This is going to go in the spare parts bin. The clear winner for today in the head-to-head -head shootout is the edge over the ultimate. Glock Factory came in at 6.1, 5.9 pounds. This guy came in 4.1, 4.2, saving us and shaving off roughly 1.9 to 2 pounds. Just fantastic. Gets you down to the low fours without getting you into the threes, which gets a little creepy sometimes. All right, I'm not that edgy, no pun intended. Ultimate did pretty good. He just didn't get the job done today. You shave about 1.3, 1.6 with this guy. If you're a 1911 guy, you don't really get the true rolling trigger. It's good, but uh, he's not the clear winner. Edge wins the day. As always, like and subscribe. If you've got a ghost trigger, comment down below and let me know which model you have. I'll tell you what, before I got this thing, I was not aware of how many models they have. It, truly impressive. Ghost has a lot of other stuff on their website, so check them out. Not endorsed. I did have to pay for all this stuff. Take care of yourselves, guys. Stay safe, and we're out of here. See ya.